All right, I'm still working uh, on the Dr. Stifler SEC project and trying to uh, measure the uh, input versus output. And it's very, very difficult. I've been studying the documents on how to do it. And because of my meters, I can't get a real good bead on it. I don't have the correct meters to measure it. Even doing all the procedures the doctor uh, suggests, um, it's, it's just not valid enough for me to post any findings. But I am doing a couple things that are interesting. I put a rheostat here. It's a 25 ohm rheostat to vary the amount of energy coming out of the battery. And then that right there is a little Christmas tree light bulb. And as I vary input, the brightness goes up and down on that. And then as I tune this, the brightness goes up and down on that. And that gives me a visual on the amount of energy going into that thing. And what I can do is I can hook that up to a battery and visually look to see what it looks like on a battery and measure that independent of this and get some kind of an idea of what's going on. Uh, I've got a setup here. It's a standard SEC 15 that I'm using the towers. And one wire coming over here to a little thin wire right there. You can barely see it. Going over here to my receiver station. And that's 27 LEDs being lit up right there. And I'm running a fan. Now that fan is a computer muffin fan, a little cooling fan. It's rated at 4.5 volts at 100 milliamps. I've got it going. Uh, the energy is coming into the system through one wire. And I'm going through an AV plug into a 2200 microfarad 50 volt cap. And then coming off the top of this compound AV plug to light the lights. So I've got 27 LEDs in series. And they break over at about 2.5 to 3 volts. They light up like that. And you can here again hook them on a battery and get a, an idea of the visual of what it takes to light one of those. And this you can do the same thing. You can hook that up to a battery and check the amp draw on that to see what that looks like running at that speed. Now here's the interesting thing though. I can take 48 more LEDs right there and light them up. And that doesn't change the draw on the main system at all. And obviously there is something rather magic going on here. For that amount of stuff to happen at that amount of power coming out of that battery, obviously it, it's pretty spectacular what's happening here. It's just getting a real firm bead on the exact numbers. The scientific way to do this where you measure voltage drop across a resistor, um, my meters just aren't adequate for doing that. But I encourage the guys that have the equipment or can afford to buy it and to go out and get this and try to get uh, the hard numbers on this, but um, this is quite something to come off of a little wire right here. This little tiny thin wire, that's like 32 gauge wire, and run this stuff. And run it quite well. And then you light up another 48 bulbs on top of that. And that's all off one wire. It's just coming in under one wire. So anyway, I just wanted to Encourage the guys that are struggling with this thing to measure uh, measure output on Dr. Stifler's device. So keep at it, and if I can find a, a meter that I can afford that'll do the correct measurements, uh, I'll go ahead and continue with the measurements on this. But right now I'm just kind of stuck because um, the measurements I'm taking I just don't consider them valid. I'll give you a hint though; they're um, they're very good. The little ones that I've taken so far, it's looking very, very good. That's all. Thanks for watching.